guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a DIY video as you already know from the title of this video. And today I'm going to be experimenting some more on my chalk paints. My name is Divya Sahadevan and if you've been following me, you already know that chalk paint has been one of my biggest discoveries of 2020 and I have been using it to upcycle a lot of my old furniture. So I have a lot of these videos out on my channel. So if you're interested, make sure you check them out. Of course, subscribe to my channel to see more such DIY projects. So today I'm going to be using chalk paints to upcycle an old bookshelf. This is a bookshelf which is made out of engineered wood. It, it looks like any other bookshelf. It has no character whatsoever. So this bookshelf is actually part of the kid's bedroom. So I want to add some elements into the bookshelf which adds a little bit of color, a little bit of fun into the kid's room. So for this, I will be actually incorporating wallpaper into my furniture. So that's something you can learn out of this video today. So without further ado, let's get started. So as with all our furniture upcycling videos, the first thing you want to do is give a good rub and wash down to your furniture. I'm using very light soapy water and just rubbing down or uh, cleaning down the surfaces, making sure there's no any dust or debris. And if you have any uneven surfaces, you can even sand the surface to get it even. Next, what I want to do is I'm going to start painting and for this, I'm using the Annie Sloan Chuck paint, which is just amazing. I've spoken uh, in depth about these paints in my last video. So make sure you check that out. And I'm using the color Chicago gray here. It's a nice, beautiful, soft gray color. Before you use it, make sure you give it a good mix. And I'm just using a spoon over here. And once it's all mixed, I'm transferring some amount of paint into a tray and I want to lightly, you know, thin this down because the paints are pretty thick and maybe a little difficult to paint with. But as a first coat, you want to add very little water on this one. So once it's really well mixed, now you can directly start painting this to your surface. So the look I'm going for today is a clean, sleek look and for that I'm using the Annie Sloan flat brush. It helps to give you less brush strokes and gives a nice clean look. So as a first coat, uh, you can just go ahead and paint any directions, don't worry about it, but you need to just cover all the surfaces. So after your first coat, you'll definitely need to add second or possibly even a third coat. So don't worry about the wood coming through uh, the paint. So once I've completed my first coat, this is how it looks and I'm only painting my inner cabins using the Chicago Grey and you can see the wood clearly and that's why I'm going to go ahead with my second coat and for that I'm using the paint and I'm this time I'm going to be diluting it with slightly bit more water. Again, give it a good mix and then you are ready to go in for your second coat. For the second coat, I'm a little bit more conscious of my brush strokes and I want to give it a clean look and I don't want too many brush strokes to be visible and for that I'm just painting in one direction and once you're done painting the surface or you're completed your second coat, you can lightly just feather touch it just to even out all those strokes and that will give you a beautiful clean finish. And that's how it's looking after my second coat. And you can clearly see there are still uh, parts of my cupboard which the wood is peeking through. And that's why I went in with my third coat, which was slightly thinner than my second coat. So I went ahead and painted just exactly how we'd seen earlier. And after three coats, my cupboard looks like this. It looks nicely covered. Uh, but you can see the back side is still uh, unfinished or it has the wood peeking through that's because that's where I'm going to be sticking my wallpaper and I only decided on this after painting and that's why I ended up painting that surface but you can make sure that you don't waste paint doing that so the next I'm going to be painting the outer layers of this bookshelf and for that I'm using Scandinavian it's a nice beautiful almost like a salmon color and again, I'm going to be taking, uh, giving it a good mix and then taking some into my uh, painting tray, adding a little bit of water just to make it a little bit easy to work with. Again, give this a good mix and then we're ready to go ahead and put in our first coat. So again, I'm using the same flat brush for uh, painting here because I'm still going to give it the same uh, finish. 
And coming to the technique, we follow the same procedure. We just uh, want to cover the entire wood, not really caring much about the direction or uh, definitely there's going to be wood coming through. But the point here is just to make sure we have a thin layer covering our entire surface. And I want to do this also on the front. So I'm just going to go and complete the front as well. For this, it was important that I have a steady hand, but what's great about chalk paint is uh, you can easily cover it up and, you know, touch up and retouch your paint for any cover ups that you need to do later on on your project. So after one coat of paint this is how my bookshelf is looking and it's now completely dry and we can move on to the second coat the second coat as you can see gives me much more coverage it's covering up most of my wood and i'm also going ahead and giving that feather touch in between just to make sure i minimize the brush strokes so for my piece of furniture, I had to do just two coats of paint and uh, the third coat you can decide depending on how your furniture looks and if you think there is still some amount of coverage that you require, you can go ahead with your third coat. So this is how my piece of furniture looks after it's completely coated and uh, there's really no wood. You can see through this and I'm really, really happy with how it looks now. So the next thing that I want to do is add the wallpaper to the back faces of the bookshelf just to add that extra pop of color. So there are a lot of options that you can choose of Amazon. This is the print that I chose and the wallpaper which I chose was really, really great. The material was really great. I've linked this on my description box below. So you want to measure out and cut out pieces uh, which... Um, you know match the size of your uh, surface that you're going to be applying this to cut it a little extra which is what i would suggest just that you have some room for error i'm going to give a clean cut using a blade and now i have my cut out piece and i have to just go and stick this onto the surface and this process was tougher than i thought it was um, a little stressful to get in there and there was really no room for me to put both my hands in but I somehow managed so I start with one corner and then make sure that you know you're evening out and removing those bubbles and so you you know have some control on how you're applying this to the surface so do this uh, you know slowly uh, you got to have some patience and make sure that you're evening it out and removing all those bubbles as they pop up so this took a little bit of time and energy and once it was done um, you may see some extra you know uh, your sides may be having a little bit of extra piece like this so you don't have to worry about this you can just take a blade and then give a smooth cut along the edge and that should help remove the extra and it also gives a nice clean finish so you can just easily pull out those extra pieces and when I was done with my three faces, this is how it looks and how pretty is that. I just love the, you know, little bit that this is adding uh, a little extra to my bookshelf. And now we just need to go ahead and seal our paint. And for that, you can use lacquer. Again, I'm using Annie Sloan or you can use wax. So lacquer, I like to use it for the surfaces which are going to actually hold some items. So the places where we actually place those items that you can seal it with lacquer. But otherwise, I love the finish that you get out of uh, wax and for wax I'm using the Annie Sloan's uh, wax brush which just makes it really easy to apply the wax to the surfaces and you need to move in circular motions like this and make sure you're really pushing that wax into the wood and make sure you take a little bit of the wax at a time if you do take more make sure you buff your surface or really like you know you don't leave that excess wax on the surface and keep going over the surface so that the wax is you know evened out on the surface and if you've applied your wax well your surface should feel nice and soft and velvety to touch 
and this does require a little muscle power so for the top of my bookshelf I'm going to apply lacquer and I'm using a flat brush like this uh, some things you, you need to remember when you're applying lacquer is you need to apply really thin coats and try not to go over the coats multiple times so you need to be a little quick applying this uh, and you need to be you know swift and really work with thin layers so the lacquer gives a better protective finish to your surface. So if you are thinking of doing a table or a coffee table, a lacquer is a much more better sealant. And I've applied these to my shelf tops. And for the rest of the bookshelf, they've all been sealed with the wax. So give this at least uh, two to three weeks to completely cure before you use your bookshelf full fledged. So it just needs some time to really seep into your paint and seal it. And this is how my final product looks. It is looking so pretty. It's looking really bright and adding that element of color into the room. The Scandinavian pink and the Chicago gray go beautifully together. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and this has inspired you to really pick up that paint and brushes. Please share your upcycling videos with me on Instagram by using the hashtag livingwithdivi. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again next week with a new video. Until then, take care. It's me, Ravi, signing out.